Fluffy. All right, are you good? I'm is good. This, this All right, we're good. Okay. We're good. Uh, All right, oh, hey guys, I'm here with my hairstylist, Mike Volpe, <laughs> also known as CEO of Lola.com, and Boston obviously knows and loves him too from HubSpot and Cyber Reason, where you most recently were. So what has been kind of the biggest transition from leading a marketing team to leading a company? Yeah, I mean, it's obvious, but it's like you're responsible for so much more than yeah. just marketing. <laughs> yeah. And so I think a lot of it is that you become responsible for a lot of things where you're not an expert. Mm -hmm. Like I think most CMOs believe that they're an expert, at least in part of marketing, if not all or of it. hope so, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but you have to learn how to like, manage and run and work with teams where you're not an expert in that person's craft. Yep. Uh, so I think it really pushes you a lot more in your leadership and sort of management and communication skills. Yep. And I'd say the one thing um, that I've noticed so far is I've got many, many days I go home at the end of the day and like mm -hmm. my, my throat is sore because I've been talking so much. Okay. Uh, and I'm not normally, I'm normally like a little bit introverted, not as much of a talker and, uh, but you kind of become that like chief internal communications officer as CEO, yeah. and so I end up spending a lot of my day talking to employees about different things, mm -hmm. you know, hearing what they have to say, talking about what we're doing, and things like that. So it's a it's a very communications driven job, is what I've been finding. I know that too. I talk pretty much all day yeah. as well. So we're we're on the same page on that. All right. So what drew you to the world of travel software? It's a bit yeah. of a change from where you used to be. It's it is, but I think that um, the couple things were one is uh, we sell mostly to mid mid sized businesses and small businesses, which I love. I mm -hmm. love that market. Yep. Uh, second thing is it's a gigantic market um, it's like about a hundred billion dollars a year is spent on business travel so it's just a huge 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 market uh, the leading player in the industry is a company called concur and they're required by SAP for seven billion dollars uh, so if we can duplicate that success we'll be doing pretty well uh, and the other thing is there's, there's an awesome team at lola.com um, Paul English the founder has done a fantastic job assembling a lot of the right people yeah and uh, it's really done a good job like putting together a great team so it was just just a really really good thing to I'm privileged to be part of it yeah so why why is Lola going to be the next big thing? So I think I have not yet met a single person that loves their corporate travel solution. Yeah. So um, everyone hates what they use for corporate travel. Yeah. And this is the first consumer quality sort of awesome experience for the travelers that also gives the business the tools that they need for yep. visibility and control over travel spend. Okay. And so. Um, it's just it's the first sort of consumer quality app in the travel space and everyone hates what they have yeah uh, and and literally it's our customers rave about it and okay. it's the only travel software I've ever heard anyone rave about so okay. it's right. uh, if we just take advantage of those things and help our customers do a bunch of marketing for us it's gonna be great awesome so go check it out and then last question for you you're a first-time CEO there's a lot of first-time CEOs out there what was sort of either a piece of advice you have or one thing that you didn't anticipate and you touched upon it a little bit ago but that you could offer to other folks going through the same thing um gosh i'd say um the biggest thing would be um I would just focus on the people like mm -hmm. it, it, that internal communication is vitally important uh, focus on the people and then make sure you don't try to keep doing your old job so I think okay. it'd be really easy for someone like me to come in and just try to be like the world's best CMO and yeah. do a little CEO stuff on the side yep. I've tried to really force myself to like not allow myself to dig in too deep on the marketing stuff to force myself to do everything else that's part of that sort of CEO job got it so I'd say it's those things and yeah. get your throat lozenges cool. ready because yeah be... exactly well it means a lot or, of talking or the, oh, yeah exactly all right, right. throat yeah. lozenges tea yeah. Mike's taking yeah. hair appointments on Tuesdays and Wednesdays <laughs> and check out check out lola.com totally. thanks mike we'll see, see you guys bye. soon